Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a ghoul bus. Because in the famous words of Bart Simpson, there is nothing scarier than going to school. So to start off with our ghoul bus, we're going to begin with the front of the bus. So starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to go over here and then it's just going to curve down right here. Then I'm going to draw this line down a little bit more and then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go out, down, and then over like this for the bumper. Then I'm just going to draw a little line down here. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then down like this. And then I'm just going to draw a nice long line that goes all the way to here. And then I'm going to make another line that just curves up and then down like this. Then I'm going to draw a little line that goes over. I'm going to go up and then across right here for the back bumper. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up. And then I'm just going to come down right here. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes up at an angle. And then I'm just going to curve it down and then back up for the headlight. I want it to kind of look like an eye that's kind of angry. And then I'm just going to draw a little curved line in here. And then a little line like this. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw this line over a little bit more. And then I'm going to draw a line that just goes up like this. And then I'm just going to bring it over here. And then I'm just going to curve it down to here. Now, for the tires in here. So, I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve down. And then back up like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, just curve down. And then go back up. Then inside of here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to curve around like this. And then I'm just going to draw some little bumps like this on the inside, or at the bottom I should say. And then I'm just going to make two big circles for eyes and then a little circle for a nose so it kind of looks like a skull. Then same thing over here, make a big curved line. Then some little bumps down here for some teeth. And then I'm going to put two circles in here like this and a little circle for the nose. Okay, now for some details on here. So, in this first one right here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down. It's going to go over like this. And then I'm going to draw a little ghost in here. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up. It's going to curve down like this. And I'm going to come all the way down here and then kind of curve it back up. Then I'm going to draw a circle here. And then a circle right here. I'm going to put a little circle inside of here and color it in. 
same thing here and then I'm going to draw a little smiley face and make his mouth open like this and then just color that in then I'm going to draw a line that just goes over here it's gonna jump over the ghost go out down and then over like this Then right here, I'm going to draw another one. So I'm going to just draw a line that goes down. I'm going to go over like this. And then this time, I'm just going to go over all the way down and then across to kind of make a square. Then in this one, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to go down at an angle like this. Then I'm going to just kind of curve the line on top. Then I'm just going to make a long line that just kind of curves down and then back for like a little hat. A little line on there for some details. Then right here I'm just going to draw a line that goes out and then comes back for like a witch's nose. Then I'm going to go down, make a big smiley face. Then right here I'm going to draw a big chin that comes out, and it's going to go down here. And then I'm just going to draw a long line here and a long line here for some hair. And then a little line right here for the body. Then I'm going to make a few lines on the hair. And then I'm just going to make a little black dot for the eye. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to go over a little bit. We're going to draw a line here that goes over and then down like this and then over and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and this one I'm gonna put a little mummy so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start right here and just make a line that just kinda of curves around for the head then I'm going to draw two diagonal lines like this And then right here, I'm just going to draw a little wavy line like this. And then I'm going to make that same wavy line. Then connect it. Then I'm going to make a little bump like this. And then to make all of his little bandages, I'm just going to draw a curved line right here. And then a little line right here. big circle right here with a little pupil in it and then I'm just gonna add some extra little lines around here to make it look like he's all wrapped up and one of them's kinda blown in the wind then right here I'm gonna draw a line that goes down over then it's gonna go up and then over again like a little square This one, I'm going to make a little vampire face, so I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down and up like a V. Two little curved lines for ears. Then a line that's just going to curve around and down for the head. Then I'm going to make the little kind of pointed widow's peak for the head, or for the hair, I should say. Then two circles for eyes, a little nose, and then a nice smile with some fangs in it. Then I'm just going to draw a line that goes out and then down for his cape, 
and then another one that does the same thing here. And then I'm just going to draw two little lines for his neck. Then on this last one, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down, over. And then I'm going to draw a oval shape here. Little line over and then another oval shape right here. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up. And then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up like this and then go down. Then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up and then kind of come down and then go up like this for an ear and then down and that's our little werewolf. Give him a little black nose at the end. And then a little curved line. And then some teeth in here. Then I'm just going to draw a line across and then connect it to here. Then make some little lines for the toes. And then a little couple zigzag lines for some fur. Now, for a couple more details on our ghoul bus, right here I'm just going to draw a little rectangle shape. And then I'm just going to draw a bigger rectangle shape right here. And on it I'm just going to write the word boo. Then going down the side here, I'm just going to write the word ghoul bus. Going down the side. And then I'm going to make a nice little long skinny rectangle right underneath it. Then I'm going to put another little two little curved lines up here for some headlights. Right here I'm going to draw little lines just going to curve up and then a couple little diagonal lines down. And I'm going to put a couple curved lines on here to make it look like there's spider web. I'm going to, right up here, just kind of draw some little squiggly lines and just some different spots to make it look like there's some kind of like slime and stuff coming out of here. Put a couple little curved lines around here just to make it look like the thing's a little dented up and kind of beat up. Same thing up here. I'm going to put some more just kind of lines like this to make it look like there's lots of like slime and stuff around there. I'm going to put some kind of like little spiky lines on the tires. Then I want to add some little bats up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two little triangles like this. Then a line that's just going to curve on each side. And then I'm just going to put some bumps here and some bumps like this. Then same thing here, I'm going to make this one a little smaller. And then I'm going to put another real small one up here. Then on top of here, I'm just going to draw a oval like this. Put another one behind here. 
and then another one over here. Then I'm going to add a little stem on top for a pumpkin. And then I'm just going to give it some triangle eyes, triangle nose, and then a mouth like this. And there you go. There is your drawing of a ghoul bus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.